Hey everybody, my name is Kylie, and today I'm going to expand on the series I've been doing on putting together this simple uh, one to two product financial model and show you how to do a sensitivity analysis. Um, the reason you'd want to do a sensitivity analysis is uh, for a few reasons. Uh, the first reason being uh, so that you could compare visually um, two different drivers of your model, and I'll show you what that means. So to do this sensitivity analysis, I'm going to take the retail price and compare it with or, or make the other variable that's changed uh, the number sold. And you'll see the kind of information that it spits out and why, why that may be valuable. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to see what happens when we adjust these two metrics to net income. Net income is going to be the uh, kind of final determinator of that. So the first thing we do is we just put a plus sign and then select net income for the first week. And then I'm going to expand out here um, for the retail price. And so this is going to be retail price up here. And I'll go ahead and just mark that in there. And then we'll do in uh, increments of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, um, 30. And so that'll be good. And then over here, we're going to also do the number sold. So we'll go ahead and make number sold right there. And we'll do that in increments of five as well. Um, one thing to remember about this whenever you're doing a um, sensitivity analysis is these numbers that I'm changing right here, they're, they're variable. You can go in and change them after the sensitivity analysis has actually happened and it'll recalculate the table. So it's pretty cool. So 20 to 25 and that'll be good. So um, to do this, we're just going to uh, highlight the whole table and go up to the data tab and click on what if analysis data table. And so then we have row input cell and column input cell. And so the row input cell will be the retail price. And so we're just going to click on the retail price right here for product number one. And then in the column input cell, that is going to be the number sold down here. So we'll just click here on the number sold in week one of product one. And so it's going to spit out this data table here. And it's based on net income because that's what we specified right here, this 105.4. So if you see, if we go to 20 and 20, which is where we currently have it set, we get the same number as we have right here, that 105.4. And so how, how can you use this to do an actual analysis, you know, and what's the benefit of doing something like this? Well, you can, you can see initially that there's no reason to sell it, no matter in what quantity you sell it for to begin with, for less than $15 in this case, um, because anything under $15 is you're making negative, regardless of how many you sell, you're not making any margin. So that's just a good, easy visual rep representation of why that of how to set your pricing. You can you know, change these and say 13. Well, 13 is right on the cusp, but that was just kind of a lucky guess of where you need to be in order to make any money at all. And at that point, it would just be a pure volume play with a very low margin um, on your product. Um, you can also adjust the, the number sold. So say you want to do a crazy case scenario where you sell a thousand in week one and you sell them at $20 a piece. Well, you know, your net income is going to be $5,500. That's pretty great. Um, and you can see all the way along with your pricing. Say, well, maybe you want to sell a thousand and you just want to make a thousand dollars. Well, you know, you're going to need to come in somewhere between 13 and 20 dollars on your retail price. Um, so it's a pretty powerful tool that Excel offers. And it's something that I do in, in all of my models. I mix and match tons of drivers and I generally have its own uh, separate tab just for sensitivity analysis. And it will help drive and help hone in a lot of those uh, early assumptions and, and help you decide whether or not they're reasonable. Um, so um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the video and there will be more to come. Thank you.